approximately 85% of people struggle with self esteem at some point in their lives unfortunately it may lead to difficulties with achieving their goals and living by their values since it is such a big part of our lives it is essential to know about it how it impacts us and how to improve it hello friends welcome back to my channel i am dr tahir mahalti and you are watching tranquil your mind self esteem is an individual's belief in their worth and value self esteem is all about how we view ourselves and the way we show up in our relationships with others people with high self esteem are confident in themselves and their abilities making it easier to try new things meet new people and make decisions psychologists have found that many factors influence self esteem of a person like genetics personality life experiences age health thoughts and social circumstances the importance of self esteem cannot be denied as it impacts our lives including our relationships with family friends co-workers and success in school work and hobbies let's see the seven ways to enhance or improve our self esteem number 1 replace your inner critic with supportive affirmations many times in our lives we become critical about ourselves and think negatively and our inner voice tells us maybe i cannot do this this is not my cup of tea maybe i cannot work hard i don't have that potential at these times try to replace this self talk with a more supportive one such as i can do hard things i am enough just as i am i am not my fears i deserve to take up space i will get through this life is about growing and experiencing but not just perfection number 2 is dedicate time for self reflection Research has found that dedicating time for self-reflection is one of the pillars of developing self-esteem. Self-reflection is defined as thinking about your actions, words, feelings and behaviors. What is the reason behind your specific action, feelings or behavior? The more time we spend reflecting and challenging unhelpful thinking, the more we find clarity to identify our feelings, distinguish facts and work through our emotions. This also helps us appreciate our accomplishments since we view our progress through our own experience not in comparison to others. Number 3 is surround yourself with people who encourage and accept you. One study highlighted that acceptance and approval from others increases our self-esteem. Although it is important to not depend on it either. It is beneficial to build relationships with individuals who encourage us to be the best version of ourselves. by providing encouragement support and feedback if we are in relationships where our boundaries are not respected or valued it may be helpful to reevaluate the time reevaluate the amount of time we spend in these relationships number 4 is celebrate your accomplishments sometimes we chase one accomplishment or achievement after another without affirming ourselves for a job well done to build our self esteem It is helpful to consistently recognize and reward ourselves for our wins. It is important to note that a win is not only a positive outcome. Wins can also be in form of trying something new, getting out of your comfort zone, or letting go things that no longer serve you. Number 5 is practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is a mental state achieved by focusing your awareness on the present moment. It is a skill cultivated through practice. Research shows that practicing mindfulness can positively affect our self-esteem since it allows us to gain control over our minds and emotions by accepting our thoughts, feelings and behaviors without judgment. Some examples of mindfulness activities are focused breathing meditation, mindful seeing and body scanning. Sixth one is develop distress tolerance. Literature shows that individuals with higher self-esteem can approach stressful situations warmly and objectively as compared to individuals with lower self esteem with this in mind it is helpful to strengthen our self esteem by accepting that it's normal to experience discomfort in certain situations and it is human to make mistakes this way we can be more confident to approach hardships and work through them effectively seventh one is minimize social media use in one study Researchers discovered that social media use is a predictor of self-esteem. This means that people who spend more time on social media 
are likely to have problems surrounding their self-esteem. We might constantly compare ourselves to our peers or believe that whatever we do is not enough. It can be helpful to reduce the time we spend on social media to give ourselves grace and a realistic timeline to accomplish our goals. It is very important to constantly remind ourselves that social media is not real life. If you found this video useful, please like and share with your friends. If you have watched this video till end, comment below with a thumbs up. For more videos on mental health, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching.